drop it. Hey everybody, Random Frank P. Today I got something pretty cool for you guys. I'm going to be doing a little review and overview for the Razor Tartarus. Now, if you've seen these things before and you're like me, I would always see them at Best Buy and think to myself, what the heck is that? Why do I need that if I have a keyboard? Well, recently I've been a console gamer all my life and um, recently switched to PC gaming and I just found the transition from a mouse and a keyboard to be just really, really difficult. So I looked a little into these more and I picked one of up and it has changed my gaming experience completely. It's made me a better player overall. I couldn't get used to the keyboard and this keypad really really helped me out i got it for 40 bucks off amazon every now and then they'll have a sale you can get them pretty cheap they're usually around 70 to 80 bucks but it is a great buy um i'm just going to get into the description on the box to give you guys some like a better idea of what this thing entails it has 25 fully programmable keys with an eight-way directional thumbpad instantaneous switching between eight key maps it has an improved ergonomic form factor adjustable soft touch wrist pad for remarkable comfort Unlimited macro lengths, unlimited game profiles, it is uh, fully backlit for dark conditions, and it is Razer Snaps 2.0 enabled, so you have to use this with the software. However, um, if you guys are familiar with these things, the uh, I think it was the Razer Nostromos came out a few years ago, and that really took off, so they kind of remade that with this. They do have the Orb Weaver, which is kind of different. That came out last year. It has just another layer of keys on top. But uh, this is the Tartarus, and I can't just explain of how, how really, it's just, it improved my gaming so much. Uh, the wrist pad is adjustable, so, you know, if you have larger, you have larger hands, you could uh, take it out about an inch or two, so you can rest your palm on it. And um, really what it is, it's it has, a, uh, I think it's 15 keys on top, and those it has all your main keys that you would use like if you would put it on a keyboard your WASD has a little thumb rasp which is like your space bar the directional bar and um, like a little clicker up top I'll show you in a minute but what's great about it is it has this really long I think it's a six six foot braided USB um, so you know it's not gonna get damaged and I'm pretty sure it's six feet it's gold plated it goes all the way to the back of your PC it's not wireless but that's okay so it connects Without a problem, like I said, you have to use the Razor Synapsis. I will get into that at the end of the video. I'll show you around a little bit. But this gaming keypad, I, I let me explain to you guys. I used to be, well, I was still, I'm not the best, but when I would play like Counter Strike with my friends, I was absolutely horrible. And recently, I've been coming in like, I've been going positive. I got MVP a few times, like coming in first place, and it's just, it makes me ecstatic seeing how bad I was just a week or two ago, and how much I've improved. Um, big thing is, you know, my keyboard wasn't the best, and this thing, I don't know, it's very, feels really good. The ergonomic form factor of this really helps out a lot. Um, they are not like tactile mechanical keys, they are soft to the touch, but that's not a big problem. So here in the, um, this is the Razer Snaps software. Uh, you load it up, it has the keyboard right there, you can select profiles, and there's unlimited, so it goes all to the cloud. Um, you can make as many as you want without a problem. If you want to change certain keys up for certain games, you can uh, export and import certain ones. You can name them and you can link them to certain applications. So you can like even use this with like Photoshop or After After Effects if you use like all that good stuff. Like I said, you can customize all the keys to your liking up top. Um, I have a few customized right now because it's pretty much the same thing as your keyboard. So we'll go to the side and let's say you wanted to change something. Uh, it has the three keys and the well two and the thumb pad. Um, what you would do is you would just go to the button assignments. And you can pick from everything. You know, the keyboard functions. You can pick it to a certain macro, uh, a mouse function. You can have like a joystick. All this good stuff. Say you want to change that alt button. What you would do? You would go to keyboard function and say you want to make the backspace. You just press backspace, and then that button would now become the backspace button. The software is really user friendly. Um, people have had a problem with it on Amazon, say like it crashes them. I haven't had a problem with it at all, and I think it's really user friendly. And um, I don't know, everything is fully customizable, and it's right there, right in front of your face. You can change the lighting if you want, the pulsating, or change the darkness or the brightness of it. Uh, also, macros for games like World of Warcraft, stuff like that. You can record your own macros if you want. I thought that was kind of cool. I don't really use it for anything like that, but you know they have it in there, right there for you. There's also add-ons you could download, um, specifically for certain games. You can import them and stuff. But 
you know, I didn't really change too much about it because I didn't want to mess with it. But if you want to, you can change whatever you want with it. You can make whatever keys you want, a certain function or whatever key, and really make it tailored to how you like it. So here I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like when it pulses. This is one of the features you can have. You can have it either pulse or stay uh, lit the entire time. I think it looks pretty cool. It has that nice uh, signature green razor low to it. And if you want, you can change it to like low, medium, and uh, high settings for dimming. But, you know, I like keeping it on all the times because it looks really nice. I will leave you a link in the description below if you guys are thinking of checking it out. But I really cannot praise this enough. It's just brought my gaming to a whole new level. And I do not have any cons for it. Like, I don't notice any flaws. People do mention how, like I said, the software keeps crashing on them or it's not reliable. But I think it's just them being nitpicky because the software it hasn't been an issue for me at all. Um, there is the Orb Weaver route, which has another layer of keys. And uh, it's a little more adjustable in terms of, like... The height and width of it but honestly that's not that's not a deal changer for me this thing is perfect for me uh if you guys enjoyed give my video a like and subscribe if you want to check out more of my videos uh thank you very much for watching this is my review and a little overview of the razor tartars uh have a good day